How do you get in the mind of a killer? By visiting the scene of the crime and investigating the evidence. Please, no! Come on, please, man! No! Please! The scene tells a lot, but this guy is smart. He might leave a mess, but he leaves no evidence. And for a successful case, evidence is key. Most killers bury their victims, and it's important to find the victim's body. Not just in evidence terms, but it's also closure for the families, and it brings us closer to the killer. The killer used this lightning struck tree as a marker, so he knew where the body was hidden. The tree itself is like a work of art for those that can see it. I prefer to have my art to have a bit more life in it. <laughs> Just in case you're a bit confused, I have what's commonly known as Jekyll and Hyde Syndrome. By day I'm known as Detective Morgan, but at night I become the shadow in your footsteps. The nightmare in your dreams, the killer that leaves no trace, but at least he leaves a mess, one I can follow. Do you want to know what the best thing about being the detective in charge is? I'm not even a suspect. <laughs> Thank you.